standby video, standby audio, standby lighting. We are recording in five, four, three. Hey everybody, Colin and Riley here at the Charleston Gilliard Center, and today we are back setting the stage with our favorite head audio technician, John. Hey everybody. So John, you taught us how microphones and speakers work, and as you know, Riley wants to perform a rock show. How can you help us get that special sound for the Riley Rock, rock Show? First, we need to get Rydog's instruments on stage. I think she can really rock out with drums, bass, and guitar. All right. We'll mic up the instruments and mix the audio capture on the Rydog rock stage by microphones and send that rock audio out of the speakers to the audience. How do you mix audio? No, not with a blender. I use this audio console. Each microphone comes into the console on its own channel strip and I can control each mic independently. The console's like a computer for processing audio? Yeah, with the audio console, I can take the audio signal collected by the microphones and use functions like gain, compression, noise gate, the equalizer, pan, effects, faders, mute. <gasps> That's breathtaking. Before we start mixing, Let's move the console in front of the stage so we can hear the mix. All right, let's start from the top. Console functions one at a time. What is gain? The signal from a microphone is a low strength electrical signal. We use gain to increase that electrical signal strength, which in turn increases the microphone sensitivity. If I were to send the signal without increasing the gain, it would be very quiet and that would not rock. We want that rock sound for Riley, right? Yeah, pound. So with the gain, you can boost that microphone level to a rock level. Correct. But you have to be careful. The more gain you use, the more sensitive the microphone will be to its surroundings. Too much gain and the microphone and speakers will feed back. Feedback is when the microphone hears the speaker. You want just enough gain to give yourself a strong signal. Another way you can mix the signal is with compression. Our compressor takes the loudest moments and makes them quieter. When Riley sings too loud, it can be ear piercing for the audience. So we want to limit how loud her signal can get. Oh, what's that buzz? <sighs> Sounds like that amp is making a buzzing sound. But when Riley plays, you don't notice it. That's right. The buzz is at a low level compared to when Riley plays. So when she plays, you don't really notice it. We'll use a noise gate to block the buzz sound when she's not playing. The gate closes on low level signals like the buzz, but will open to let Riley's bass through. Oh, that sounds awful. It's so muddy. We need to fix that mix. I'll use the equalizer to adjust the pitch or frequencies so the bass doesn't sound like it's down in some pluff mud. Now that's groovy. Looks like you can do a lot to the sound with an equalizer. With the equalizer, or the EQ as we call it, we can boost or cut different frequencies in the audio signal to change the sound. So. You've adjusted the signal strength with the gain, reduced some loud moments with the compressor, cut out the buzz with the gate, and changed the pitch with the EQ. But I feel like we still need some cool effects for a... Ride Up Rock Show! Well, we can send it to an effects processor in the console. One of my favorite effects is reverb. Reverb makes it sound like you're in different spaces, from your bedroom, to a concert hall, or any space you can imagine. Now that rocks. 
I have dozens of effects in the console that I can change the audio, the audio signal, signal with. with. Now you have a well mixed signal with a rocking effect. It's time for the audience to hear something, right? Almost. You can't just push all the mixed channels into the speakers the same way. Sometimes we pan the individual signals a little left or a little right to match the sound with the location of the instrument on stage. The bass is on stage right. So we pan the bass signal in the speakers to audience's left so it comes from the same direction as the bass. Finally, we set channel levels going to the speakers with our faders. We set the faders for each channel so you can hear the entire mix evenly. Different audio engineers may mix the same show a different way. This is where we get creative. All of these components coming together through the console and being sent out to the audience from the speakers as a rocking mix. And there's a mute button in case you need to mute something. Come on, Riley. Come on. Wow. A lot happens to the sound between the band on stage and the audience. The sound goes into the microphones. The sound is strengthened with gain. Reduced with compression. Open and closed with a noise gate. Pitch is changed by the EQ. Sent to the effects processor to give it some rock qualities. Sent out through the speakers with the correct direction on the pan and rocking levels on the faders. And just in case there's the 